Aladera to the ground and taking over. You see the spins, the creativity of Tig. That was the accidental low blow. Time was called when it resumed. Ladera taking it to the ground, taking control, and finishing with the head and arm choke. The winner, by way of first round submission, Leo Ladera defeats Paul Tig. Up next, we move to a bout in the welterweight division. Matt Denning versus Jacob Guerrero. Fighting out of Wilson, Maine. I took the fight on a couple hours' notice and I had to cut a little bit of weight to be here. This is my third fight in three weeks. I fight, it's what I do. I've been doing it for the better part of 15 years. My name is Jacob Guerrero. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Panama and this is my professional debut. I'm hoping my experience plays a huge factor. I, I'm a, a decent striker, but I think. All my experience in every other category of mixed martial arts will play a big factor in this fight. I don't worry about what they're going to do. I worry about what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to step in there and dictate the pace of the of the rhythm of the fight, and I'm going to tr throw everything with bad intentions. You don't always get to predict when uh, life's going to attack you. If you're going to be in an alleyway, if you're going to be in line at a grocery store, someone might try to do some funky stuff and you get to defend yourself. So it's no different day for me. I, just this time there's a ref and a person that's gonna be able to stop me from pounding them out. All I ask for him is to bring his best because I'm bringing my best. Standing up on the ground, in the clinch, anywhere. Bring your best because I'm bringing my best. Making his way to the ring in the blue corner, Jacob Guerrero. Draped in the flag of his native Panama, Jacob Guerrero, set to make his pro mixed martial arts debut in this bout. The Panamanian Guerrero, 10 and two, is an AMI in MMA. He's also had 16 amateur boxing bouts. Guerrero said in our fighter meeting, first and foremost, I am a striker in MMA. Guerrero also talked about constant smart pressure. He said, I'm going to be dynamic, and he used that word dynamic with my striking, but he said, I want to be dynamic predominantly as a hard, fast counter striker. Guerrero said of his opponent, Matt Denning, in this bout, I think he's going to come forward and look for the quick takedown. I have to be sharp with my punches. I also have to land hard kicks as a deterrent. Guerrero said, this is a great opportunity for me, making my MMA debut as a pro worldwide on UFC Fight Pass. I want to showcase my striking, and I want to be a showman. And now, making his way to the cage to the red corner, Matt Denning. Matt Denning, this is pro MMA bout number 20. Denning actually made his professional boxing debut this past Saturday. Denning said coming into this welterweight bout versus Jacob Guerrero, he's going to go hard, open up to try to record the first round submission victory. Denning said, I'm going to be very active on the ground with my top game and my bottom game. I'm also going to be active hunting submissions on the feet. Denning told us in our fighter meeting, one of his go-to submissions is the rarely seen now in modern MMA, standing arm triangle. He said, I think I might be able to hit it against Jacob Guerrero. Denning said of Guerrero, I believe he's going to try to stay on the outside and essentially use a point fighting style. I don't think he wants to engage with me. I'm going to make him engage quickly. I need to solve his reach, get to the inside, and counter big off of his lead hand. You know, Denning's key to victory will be not letting this be a nice, uh, crafty kickboxing match. He needs to turn this into a very ugly fight and make it a, a dirty, gritty match. The numbers now for this bout in the welterweight division, Matt Denning versus Jacob Guerrero. We have Jacob Guerrero, much taller, much leaner. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup between two different, totally different style, style bodies. 
Your second fight of the evening is in the Combat FC welterweight division. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, from New York City by way of Panama, he weighs 170.8 pounds, and he trains out of Tiger Shulman's MMA, making his pro debut, Jacob the Tiger Guerrero. And his opponent in the red corner at a weight of 168.6 pounds. He has a professional record of five wins and 14 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt the Kendall Denning. And your referee for this fight, Chris Burke. Shane Burgos in the corner of Jacob Guerrero is the fighter from Panama City, Panama, set to make his pro MMA debut. Guerrero in the crouch. Round number one. Both fighters, as you see in the black trunks, red glove tape for Denning, blue glove tape for Guerrero. Big body kick from Guerrero. Guerrero coming out southpaw, you expect him to throw that, bar, that rear side liver kick very often against the, the opposite stance fighter. True to his word from our fighter meeting yesterday, Deming looking for the immediate takedown and he hits it with emphasis in the side control. This is exactly now where Matt Denning wants to be. Top position to the ground quickly. Great single leg by Denning. What Jacob really needs to do is he needs to switch his hips, but now he's backing up against the cage. He needs to use that wall to let him walk up that wall, just like he's doing right here, and be careful of that guillotine. Close guard on the guillotine, going hard for the submission. And round number one is Matt Denning, a lot of squeeze. Close look from referee Chris Burke. Guerrero defending well, tripoding into him. It's very... Huge torque on that squeeze, looking for the mounted guillotine. Guerrero is out. That is a clean technical submission win in round number one for Matt Denning. Guerrero did not tap, going out fully on the closed guard guillotine. Denning again at our fighter meeting yesterday was emphatic. He said, I will open up, take chances, go hard for the first round submission win. That's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he accomplished. We see Denning going for that single leg. Huge single leg takedown right here. Lift, slam. Guerrero's gonna start wall walking up. He leaves his, his neck out just for a second too long. Denning catches it, sinks the guillotine, and that's the fight. It's good refereeing from Chris Burke. He saw the positioning of Guerrero. He knew that he was out, ruling the technical submission, and a big win. A weekend after his pro boxing debut, on the debut of Combat FC for Matt Denning. You can see massive disappointment for Jacob Guerrero. Pro debuts are always difficult. They're that much more difficult when you're making your pro debut worldwide on a big stage on UFC Fight Pass. Glass from Denning talking to Jacob Guerrero. Here's Romero Torres. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, 57 seconds into the first round by guillotine choke. Matt, the Ken Doll, Denny! Third fight in three weeks. Did you expect the fight to go this way? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a long striker, I'm a phenomenal grappler. And I just went and showed him what hard work over a decade of fighting looks like. I, I don't win every time, but I show up. And I'm happy. I'm happy he was here. That was a huge single leg takedown right away. Did you expect that guillotine to present itself? Is that something you were looking for? Every time. Um, it's always there. Practice your jits. I was terrible at jiu-jitsu when I started MMA. And I got all my finishes by first round submission. So stick to your jiu-jitsu. It's really a, a strange sport because you choke your friends every day. 
Next week, same time, Matt. Next week, same time, same place. Your winner, Matt Denny. Victorious in the 20th bout of his pro MMA career, Matt Denning. Aggressively hitting the takedown side control, close guard on the guillotine. That was slick to the end. The winner by way of first round technical submission, Matt Denning defeats Jacob Guerrero.